I'm old Kirk Christensen. I was born in Billund, Denmark in in eight in 1891. At the age of six, I started tending to, to my family sheep in in work, work in the fields. Past the time, I made, I made small wood people. From when I was 10 to when I was 25, I didn't document much about my life. But then when I was 25, in 1916, I bought a small car repair workshop in Bill and Denmark and set up business building houses and furniture. Shortly after, I married Sophia Jorgensen. But during the Great Great Depression, I had to dismiss all of my workers and Sophia died. But I was determined to rebuild my car repair company. The first thing I made of significance after that was a small wooden duck toy that made all my sons so happy that I d decided to start making toys. Making toys wasn't too hard for me because I, I already had a lot of experience in car carpentry, but I was not a good businessman, so toys, so toy sales were slow. Luckily, my son God Godfrey <laughs> helped me at after school. Around the end of the year, a man came in to a workshop and placed a big order for a lot of our high quality wooden toys. Unfortunately, when we were almost done with, with the toys for the order, we, we got a letter that said the man was ba bankrupt and could not buy the toys. So I had to go around and sell the toys on my own. I didn't sell much, but I finally found a place where I could change all of the toys for food. We were good for Christmas. Time passed, and I thought the company needed a good name. I thought Lego, because because it was short, it meant play well Danish. Not too far after that, we bought a milling machine to, to build the toys. One one night, my son came into to, to the workshop and told me he saved money by only going nuts in two layers of paint instead of three. So I, I made him unpackage them and re recoat them. This lesson made a new model for Lego. Only the best is good enough. But then my 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 workshop set it on fire. So I had a new work, workshop built, got a plastic molding machine, some bricks down made with it. So we started producing some small plastic toys. But I was drawn to the bricks and decided to put them into production. And they were a success. On a boat boat ride to England, my son Godfrey met a man who said toys had, had no system. They, this got guy to thinking that people need to be more creative and make their own designs. So Lego launched the Lego system of play. Even though I died on March 11, 1958, people still enjoy Lego and I hope that they continue to in the future. Yay. Good job. <laughs>